Now, while we're on National Cabinet, it seems Queensland Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk has run into a brick wall there when it comes to her harebrained scheme to stretch her state's land tax tentacles across state borders. The, Sun the Sunshine State was planning to look at the interstate holdings of any Queensland property holders and increase their property tax according to what they held in other states. New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet arced up about this and declared there was no way that his state would share its property records with Queensland. Here's his finance minister on this program earlier this week. Now they want to tax the taxpayers of New South Wales to increase the bottom line of Queensland. You can't be surprised that we're outraged by it. Well, it seems like when she turned up at National Cabinet, Palaszczuk might have got the message because suddenly the plan has been dumped. We report in the last hour you've, you've rescinded your land tax proposal yes. uh, following discussions with colleagues yeah. last night. We, yeah. uh, could you elaborate on that? And we, yeah. Are you a little disappointed you didn't get support? Or, no, 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 because or... it actually came out of um, the Treasurer's meeting, so there were discussions held at that forum and it does rely on the goodwill of other states and contrary to what the public report, Dom and I actually get along quite well. Very well. Even though we win the state of origin. Um, but in terms of, you know, it does require the goodwill of other states and um, if we can't get those um, additional information, um, I will put that aside. How about that? The Federation working in our favour for a change, stopping a Labor tax grab. Now, at the risk of sounding repetitive, do we think this would have happened without Dominic Perrottet taking a stand? A lot of people suggest Perrottet will lose the New South Wales election next March and Labor will take over. We will see. But can you imagine what a sham the Labor-dominated National Cabinet would be without his strong right-of-centre voice? 